more. Let's speak to Amal Boubacar, who joins us now from Algiers. She is a French Algerian researcher focusing on Maghreb countries and Islam in Europe. Amal, thanks so much for speaking to us. What do you make of uh, what Bouteflika is saying now that any further protests could lead to chaos or destabilization, as well as warning of a return to uh, the national tragedy of the civil war? Is this a threat? Well, he's uh, Bouteflika saying so, really. Bouteflika, who is an old Sikh man, I believe there's some uh, kind of uh, sense of panic among the, the army uh, ranks, the military ranks. But on the side of the protesters, there's absolutely no doubt that this protest will be peaceful. Silmiya, Silmiya, which means peaceful, peaceful in Arabic, has been the key word of this protest since they have started. And today you will see has. Uh, during the previous demonstrations, a lot of women, young girls, old women, families uh, marching together with a whole sense of proud unity, self-control and solidarity. Right, it is National Women's Day. So these large protests uh, that are planned specifically for women, what are they really trying to say? Well, you know, for long, and especially after the, the civil war, the Algerian woman has been trapped uh, between the narrative of being pro-Islamist or pro-government, and somehow the role of women have been, has been totally depoliticized in, in the so Algerian society uh, during the 8, uh, 8, uh, 8 March days that have uh, the previous 8 March days, uh, only uh, pop music concerts were organized by, uh, by the FLN, the unique party that is in power still. And so there was no opportunity for women to discuss really their situation and the problems they face as Algerian women. Today, it's for them also an important opportunity to march and to regain a sense of, 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 of trust in saying what they want and what they don't want. And what they don't want is basically quite the same of the rest of the Algerian society. They don't want a fifth mandate, and they want the, to get rid of the regime. That's what they said. Maybe as women, they have more important thing to say, especially the capability to take uh, the streets and occupy the public space uh, safely. And that's why they are going to join so massively this afternoon, because they, there okay. is this sense of safety. Amel, quickly, I mean, where do you see this going? Will Bouteflika step aside? <clears throat> and would that even lead to real change in Algeria if he were? Bouteflika did so already. He promised uh, a, a revision of the constitution, some transition and so on, but the, he already did so in 2014. So Algerian people are not buying it that time. The real question will be how the army is going to handle the transition. And uh, are they going to do it peacefully? Uh, well, they have no, uh, uh, provi they have provided, and they have not provided any answer uh, until now. Okay, Amel. We'll leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us from Algiers.